Okay, before we get started, I just wanted to give an update on the Dwarf 2 giveaway that I announced a couple weeks ago. The metrics that we need to meet as far as the amount of views, the comments, and the likes, we've met the comments and the likes per Dwarf Labs requirement. But the views, we need 3,000 within the first 30 days of me publishing that video. And currently we are at just over 1,800 views. So need another 1,200 between now and December 16th. So if you haven't seen that video and you haven't entered the contest, I'll leave a link up here as well as down in the description for it. If you've already seen seen the video and you've left a comment to enter the contest please go back and share it if you haven't done so already i really want to hit this 3,000 view mark so i can give one of these things away to you guys all right so that's the update on the dwarf giveaway today we're just going to do a quick video on how to help prevent any condensation building up on the lenses of the dwarf 2 also referred to as dew also going to cover there is some way that we can block stray light from a street light or your neighbor's floodlight in the backyard so i have answers to those questions for you today that's what we're going to go over my name is rich and you're watching deep space astro Okay, so for one of the ways that you can help prevent dew from forming on the front lenses of the Dwarf 2 um, is to go into the app itself. There's not a built-in dew heater. The heat that the CPU generates can radiate up towards the front glass of the unit. That in itself can help from dew from forming. Now, I've only had the unit for uh, two, three weeks and only used it maybe a half a dozen times. I haven't had any issues with it. There was one night when the temperature was dropping below the dew point and I didn't have any issues. Um, I don't know that means it'll never happen, but one of the things that you can do if you're expecting the temperature to drop below the dew point is to go into the app and once you're connected we're going to hit the x button up here in the corner to go back to the main screen and then go into your settings camera settings and then scroll down to under system function where you see cpu performance mode it'll actually allow the cpu to work faster and harder it'll increase the speed of the stacking slightly but also because the cpu is working harder it's generating a little bit more heat and that heat should radiate again up towards the front where the lenses are at and help in preventing any dew from forming so all you need to do is turn that on and it'll keep the unit a little bit warmer like i said and radiate that heat upwards now keep in mind this is a performance boost so since it's allowing the cpu to work harder it's also going to use a little bit more of your battery power so you can expect it to lose a little bit of time on your batteries but if you're plugged in when you're using it to a battery pack then that's not a concern now the other way that you can help prevent dew is if you're in if you've been in the hobby and you just picked one of the dwarf units up to play around with and such you probably have lots of spare parts laying around uh, different odds and ends barlow lenses extenders and such the first thing that i discovered is my celestron barlow lens here i bought this specifically for planetary because the front element can actually be removed and before you guys ask me no this barlow even though it does fit on the filter holder you cannot obtain focus with the parlor in place i it was the first thing i tried knowing that it probably wouldn't work but i gave it a shot anyway so that's a no-go as far as using the barlow but what i didn't realize about the body of the barlow is it's actually two pieces as well so if i unscrew this portion of it and then take the threaded side it actually goes right into the filter holder watch your thumb screw you don't lose that obviously but it fits right in there and that can act as a makeshift dew shield and a way to keep any stray light from entering the camera it's not too heavy holds on there perfectly for me so just you know if you've got something like that laying around check your pieces and parts that you have and see if you have anything that works so then the other thing with the celestron anyways and i have a solution for you guys that just have the dwarf too and i know not everybody has a barlow lens or other parts for their telescope rigs and stuff laying around so hang in there we'll get to that in just a second but with this particular barlow lens if you take the part of the body that we unscrewed from the front and screwed into the adapter it'll fit back in kind of the opposite way it was intended on going and the thumb screw will hold it we come over and grab our uhc filter and because that's threaded the screw right on the front of there so now we've got something that'll help block the light prevent the dew from getting on the lens i would still be concerned with any dew accumulating on the filter since it's away from the unit it probably won't benefit from any of the heat that's coming out of the, the dwarf to itself so keep that in mind but if your intent is to try to keep stray light from entering into the lens uh, this might be a good solution if you have something like this laying around like i was saying i know not everybody has parts laying around a lot of you watching this video or probably just getting into the hobby and you just purchased a dwarf too and that's all you have so i went digging on the internet to find something similar that would work for you guys and i did i found this inch and a quarter extender and same thing that'll screw right on there so we have a little bit of a light shield slash dew shield 
point and the same thing like we did with the barlow body it has internal threads as well that will accommodate your filter again just keep in mind this not being close to the body of the drawer the filter itself may accumulate some dew but again if you're just using this for a way to block light stray light you can still use your filter on top of that as well so i'll leave my affiliate link for gina astro for this part in the description below as well as the barlow in case somebody out there is interested in the celestron barlow that i used here so that was it i thought it was worthwhile to put together just that quick video to show you guys a couple different solutions for dew and keeping stray light out of your scopes i want to send out a special thanks to all my members on youtube and on buymeacoffee.com and thanks to all of you, whether you're a member or not, for watching, sharing, liking, leaving comments. The channel is growing more than I ever thought that it was going to. Don't forget about the contest. Go over there, share it with everybody. Watch it if you haven't entered it yet. Directions are in that video on how to do so. Again, we need 3,000 by the 16th of December. Once we hit that 3,000, fingers crossed, I'll make an announcement on my Facebook page and here on YouTube's community board for my channel when the contest will take place. So again, thanks for everybody's time. We'll see you on the next video and clear skies.